Hi, Sis here with another video and this is aimed at players that are new to the game and want to know how path of building work. Very often when you're searching up a build guide and something like that and uh, you will see that they will refer you to path of building a third party program and there will be like a link in the description like this just like some random ass link and you don't know what to do with it we're going to teach you all of that so pob or path of building can be very overwhelming we're going to try to make it a little easier and to show you how to get it and everything like that so you just google path of building it's just path of building dot community and click on grab the latest release you can just scroll down here and you'll get the latest release so once you've got path of building it's going to look like this and obviously there's so many different pages and it all seems very overwhelming and well let's take a quick look at it so very often you'll find a build guide and it'll tell you at some point during the guide that there is a pob in the description and boom here it is we also link to downloading pob for people that don't already have that and then you will copy that link paste bin then you will click on import export build import from website Always make sure it is fully up to date too. And boom, here we have it. Here you're now gonna get loads of information about the character. And depending on the guide you're following, some people will put loads of notes with loads of extra information. Hopefully watch the entire video that you're watching um, because a lot of information will be there. And then in our guides, we do it very, very step by step. So if you click on skills, we will normally have that it walks you through all the skills you're gonna be using for leveling. And generally the first thing you see is the skill tree. So again, especially for my guides, we do it step by step. That makes it very, very nice for new players that you don't just see like an end game tree. This especially used to be very common where people would just be like, okay, here you go. And you wouldn't really know where to go. Sometimes we will also do like groups where like if there was an A here and an A here and an A here, you would know that this gem is replaced by this gem is replaced by this gem. We do that sometimes whenever we have time and whenever it's a build that changes skills a lot. So you don't end up with like, okay, well, I have my splitting steel and my shattering steel and my explosive arrow. Next up, we have items. Up here, we have different item sets as well. So there you can see that and you can see the damage and everything is changing. Now, honestly, understanding how the configurations and stuff works in Path of Building isn't the most important thing. And honestly, the number and path of building doesn't really matter. So for example, after the patch, this isn't needed, um, but the number itself isn't super important. We always never really focus on like high clickbaity numbers. We just make really solid guides that people come back for again and again. So the config screen looks super complicated. You don't super need to understand everything that's on here. Very often people will put in things that aren't necessarily necessary and leave this off um, to make the damage seem higher. Obviously people like uh, baiting with like, oh, 10 million damage for cheap. But uh, yeah, not super important as a screen. And the calculations as well, not super important. Generally, just as long as you have a rough idea of what's in tree, skill, and item, that is all you need to follow a basic build guide. And we do have another video that goes a little bit more advanced and talks about like calculations and configuration. So that should be all you need just to follow a build guide. Thanks for watching. Sub if you liked the video. And more importantly, Try to die more than I do. Bless.